getting this machine ready for a customer and I was having a wee look through my stash of bits and pieces and I came across some uh, brochures and uh, bits and pieces here mainly re uh, relating to the Husqvarna Viking series machines so I thought I'd just take a uh, you know a nice uh, relaxing look at uh, some of this here I found this brochure here, I've actually gone through that in another video, I think it's the, um, the might be the basics video I did on the Husqvarna uh, 21, class 21 machine, uh, it's quite a neat little brochure there, anyway I uh, thought we'll have a wee look at this here, this is a little brochure here that looks to me like it's been printed um, for the New Zealand market Let's get a closer look here. On the back we can see it's a Bernina, Swiss Bernina. It pays. Bernina never lets you down, it's a great investment. Uh, so not all Husqvarna here, but a handy checklist on how to buy a sewing machine. So it just, uh, I won't go, I won't read the whole thing out, but I'll just go through some points here. For most households, buying a sewing machine is a major purchase. And I guess it would have been back then too, uh, judging by the price of the machines. All too often it does not receive the consideration it deserves. To help make the purchase of your sewing machine more pleasant and rewarding re experience, the following checklist is provided as a guideline. So stitch quality, talks about stitch quality there. Uh, it says here to take your own fabrics. So I guess, you know, just uh, try out on the machine. So, will the machine sew at least six layers of coating? Sew without skipping stitches on nylon, lingerie or knit fabrics. Sew both ways over two layers of flat felt seam or on jean denim, 12 layers? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an interesting challenge. Sew chiffon or other shears without puckering. Overcast an edge without tangles. Feed fabric straight without pushing or pulling or steering. So without skipping stitches on all fabrics, sew on all fabrics with proper tension so that the stitching is the same on both sides. Buttonholes, do you get a perfect buttonhole? Is it a smooth satin stitch with no fabric showing between the stitches? Is it neat when cut open? For automatic buttonholes, does the machine sew on one place for the bar tack? Is the buttonhole finished with securing stitches? So these these are uh, benef you know uh, probably extolling the benefits of a banana machine really. Uh, stretch stitch, ease of operation. Can you do an invisible blind hem fast and without guiding fabric? Does the bo bobbin winder shut off automatically when full? Well, um, if you've seen my other videos on the Husqvarna machines, you'll see that the that they don't. You have to monitor the um, bob and winder. Can you wind a bobbin while you sew? Again, on the Husqvarna you can't do that. Um, so yeah, you can on most of the bananas. Does the foot control stay in one spot on the floor? Can you change the press foot easily with one hand? Yeah, right. No. Well, you need a screwdriver for the likes. Of, you know, I'm sort of referring to the likes of these older Husqvarna's here and, and uh, well, any machine really um, of the older style to that was sort of competing with the Benina and the, this looks like, this brochure here looks like it's probably produced in the 1980s I would guess. Can the machine be opened without tools for low maintenance costs? Well the Benina's are very good for that. The covers and likes of the top lid and whatnot were clipped on. Can you open the feed dog area without a screwdriver for cleaning? So this is really, you know, targeting obviously the the Benina machines um, because there's a lot of uh, little points here that uh, the Beninas were uh, very good for, and look, you know, the other machines didn't have those features as such. Can you thread the machine with one hand and one movement from reel to needle? Uh, well, you probably could with that little Husqvarna husk here, but, you know, does the machine offer a choice of five needle positions? And most of them only have three. Three there. 
Durability. Very important but not easily tested. Does the manufacturer make parts and services available throughout New Zealand? Does the manufacturer offer a 30 year warranty on all mechanical parts? Uh, so I'm just about to put a video up actually um, of a Husqvarna Combina that's a 1969 model and it's got a 25 year warranty so it's not too far off this. Uh, does the manufacturer offer a complete 5 year warranty on motor and foot control? Is a factory authorised service available on the premises? Does the dealer offer free service for two years? Will spare parts be available for at least 30 years? Anyway, I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, this is not really sewing machine related, it is sewing related dressmaking with Vylan. It's some sort of stabiliser by the look of it. I had a quick flick through this one. Violin for vents, collars and cuffs, pockets, flat pockets, patches, welt pockets, violin and skirts. So some sort of stiffener was it? I don't know if violin is still a thing, but yeah, it must have been fairly widely used for the look of it. So that, uh, just looking for a date on that one there. But I would say, judging by the style of the booklet, it's probably 60s. Have a look at that. Yeah. Quite interesting, some of these. I like this sort of thing too. This is just a plain little notebook. I mean, it's a tiny, thin notebook. And someone's handwritten notes uh, on how to... It's actually a school notebook. Always have zigzag at zero before an altering pattern selector and always leave machine at normal. Yeah, so that, that's a good note. Turning up hems, electric sewing machine hints. <laughs> nice uh, handwriting there. Someone's taken a few notes. Here we go, buttonholes. Manual, how to do a manual buttonhole. Quite neat. This is a Husqvarna or Viking if you're in the USA or UK and elsewhere. I don't know. Um, we, we've always called them Husqvarna as far as I know in Australia and South Africa they are called Husqvarna. I, I assume in Sweden they're called Husqvarna. Um, yeah, so this is a nice little brochure. Ian Aldridge and Company, Christchurch. You know, I see a lot of those. A lot of this company, you know, with the uh, the little sticker badge on the machines and whatnot. So, yeah, quite quite neat. A hobby that pays with a modern Husqvarna. So, yeah, 1950s, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they did make these for quite some time, so I guess it could be 60s. Nice little uh, 21A there, or 21E maybe. Yeah, 21E. Husqvarna Automatic. Husqvarna appeals both to her, because she's doing the sewing, and to him, because he's looking at how well it's made. <laughs> of course it's fun to be used. and to make a good investment at the same time. So yeah, they're having a real close look here with the Vernier calipers, making sure that it's within spec. She looks pretty happy. And if I, you know, if I, after using these machines, if I had one of these absolutely brand new, I'd be looking pretty happy too. Only Husqvarna gives you all these advantages. Swedish design, yeah, can't go wrong, can you? Free arm, indispensable aid when you want to sew or mend sleeves, trousers, legs, darn socks, or do similar work. Utility seam, a good example of Husqvarna realism. <laughs> the utility seams are decorative seams which have been developed for modern practical functions decorative seams, genuine jam proof shuttle. 
they talk about this a lot with in these uh, Husqvarna models. In Husqvarna, they actually used this jam-proof shuttle uh, style in a lot of their machines. You know, the 2000 series, the you know the Combina, the Practica, and then up into the later uh, machines as well. I can tell that's a uh, that's a 21E. I think yeah, the E model. It's got a uh, flat type. Yeah, the E model has this flatter uh, surface on the motor cover here. Yeah, this is the 21A. If we have a look at the back here. You'll see it's got this this piece here jutting up, whereas the 21E has just a flat this flat surface. Yeah, so that that's an easy way to tell where, what model it is. Obviously, you've got the model number plaque here. Low speed gear, I go through that in some of my videos on the Husqvarna's. So you can put the machine into a low speed high torque mode. It's very good for controllability and just you know sheer power for punching the needle through the likes of uh, you know jeans material and whatnot denim. Service wherever Husqvarna is sold in more than 100 countries, you can obtain accessories and parts, spare parts. Expert servicing of your machine and, and advice and assistance on getting it the most from it. Factory guarantee. Uh, I've been making products for 275 years. Kids are pretty happy over here, sitting in front of the tally. Looking like they're going to get square eyes there. Jeez, you know, that's the old days of the cathode ray tube. And um, yeah, probably getting a bit close there. Utility seams give greater value. Zips. Uh, some uh, zigzagging buttonholes, sewing buttons on. A tricot. Attaching lace. Blind hemming. Uh, another sort of tricot type stitch. Applique, darning. And elasticating. And here it's showing the little Selector dial there, different types. So that'll be the A, B, and the C cams probably. These ones up here, the little cams that you can get for the different types of stitches. And here we have some pretty fancy monogramming, uh, eyelets, eyeleting, and fancy decorative stitches here. And then you've got the nice, well-equipped Husqvarna automatic, and it's nice little case here. With all the accessories and the flat bed. Looks like a darning hoop there, manual. Foot controller. Nice sturdy case. Yeah, I've done a video recently on uh, a similar type of machine, a newer style machine, but it's got the same sort of case as that. And here we have a nice diagram here with a cross section, or not a cross section, a um, what do you call that? A revealed view of the reduction gearbox here. Just going through some of the dials and whatnot. Husqvarna Automatic 21E. So as far as I understand the differences between the 21E and the 21A are quite slight. Um, there's not that much of a difference. I think the tension dial might, might be a slightly different style. The back cover I showed you before is different but I think internally pretty much it's the same machine. Here we have choose the Husqvarna that suits you best. Here are three Husqvarna freearm machines to choose from. I haven't seen many flatbed Husqvarnas actually. I wouldn't mind getting a hold of one if I, if I can. I, uh, I've only seen the, uh, the freearm type. So we've got the 19E and that looks like it doesn't have the ability to install cams. We've got the very simple uh, rotary 8E and that is just a looks like straight stitcher with you know reverse. So yeah don't see any of those. They're pretty hard to come by I'd say. I think most people bought the 21s. The most common ones were the 21s. The 19, I don't even think I've seen one of those. I do have uh, 
a, a little collection of 21Es and 21As, all in sort of various states. Yeah, other machines in the Husqvarna sewing line. So these are getting into the later models, the 2000 Calomatic 51E, that's a flatbed. 49 Combina, that's another flatbed. A 49E zigzag. So yeah, I think this 2000 is a later style. And here we have a nice scene here of a Swedish, the Swedish factory by the look of that. A bit of snow down, a little uh, a glow there, looks pretty good. Quality engineering since 1689. So what have we got? Lawn mowers, oil heaters, boilers, microwave ovens, chainsaws, racer motorcycles, <laughs> sporting rifles. And here we go in Aldridge High Street, Christchurch. So, um, yeah, good day to anyone uh, watching from Christchurch. Yeah, here we have another ready for the beach. Look right, feel right with Husqvarna Beachwear Fashion Booklet. There's a nice uh, picture of a 21A free arm front and 51A tabletop mount. Yeah no built-in motor. I would say that um, this would, this more likely is a semi-industrial style machine. I'd, you know, I'd love to get my hands on one of those. Yeah, belt driven. So the motor would be mounted, this, this here would be uh, mounted in a table, a little bit like an industrial machine with a motor underneath and a belt driving this uh, hand wheel here. Very nice. Make this summer's beach garment yourself. Set an A cam set. That's the set pattern selected to three. Three step zigzag stitch, durable and elastic. So yeah, ideal. We have a quick flip through this. There you go. Make yourself a sun hat. Terry toweling shirt. A Terry toweling shirt. I guess yeah, these here. Stylish. Beach bag. Make yourself a beach bag. Terry toweling, I don't know. Can you still buy terry toweling? I guess you can. Here we go, beach jacket. It's got the pattern here. Shorts. Beach cape. Look at that. Pretty stylish. He's looking pretty stylish here, look. Looks like he's uh, just got out of the bath, I'd say, but it looks cosy. It's a nice little beach cape there. Baby beach towel. <laughs> it's a pretty simple pattern. A couple of uh, a rectangle and a square, I'd say. <laughs> there we go. More style. A 60s style there, I'd say. Beach wrap. Beach bag. Bikini, sarong and a bikini. You can make your own. There you go. Beach towel. Just coming into summer here, so you know. Could be handy. Child's bathrobe. Beach jacket and sunbonnet. Nice. There you go. Toweling tunic shirt. The kids. Now, I've got some brochures here. Oh, here's another. Yeah, this one here. I like this. 50 nice gifts you can make on the Husqvarna Automatic. I really like this sort of uh, ephemera, you know, that comes with the machines, just finding these old brochures and whatnot. Just the, you know, the styling of them and the, the big, you know, what's that? That's A4, I guess. And you know, decent brochures, nicely made. What do we got? With compliments. Engagements, birthdays, anniversaries, and of course Christmas are all good times for giving presents. It's fun to give presents, but perhaps even more fun if you give something you've made yourself. I'm thinking about doing that this year, but I don't quite know what to do yet. Besides this, it's splendid relaxation to sit down in front 
of a fine new Husqvarna automatic. I agree. Forget every day worries and indulge in a little sewing for pleasure. Yes. Give free rein to your imagination and think up amusing ways of making use of all the sewing features your machine offers. We have had this booklet prepared to help you on the way. You'll certainly find many more interesting things to make once you've really begun. Right, so, butler's apron, grill mitt. I love this one here, Wild West apron. Yeah, look at that, the Wild West apron. Looking pretty, uh, pretty ready to go there. Uh, what are we here? Pot holders. Yep, More pot holders. Check apron with appliques. Yeah, that's this here. All, you know, matching with the fruit applique. Cocktail apron with cherries. Oh, yep, yeah, she's looking pretty flash. Yellow flared apron. That's pretty stylish, isn't it? Yeah, have a look at that. Yeah, pretty flash. Yellow flared apron. Nice. Reversible cocktail. What? Oh. Reversible coquet apron. I don't even know what that is. Reversible coquet apron. Is that how you pronounce that? Coquet. Uh, there you go. Reversible. Apron with many pockets. Hey, could you keep in those? Plastic washing apron. There we go. You can go with plastic. Nice. Husband and wife there doing the dishes. Nice one. Apron with oven mitts. So it's, yeah, a lot of aprons and whatnot, isn't it? Sewing, the sewing apron. So you, what? Do you build in a little, looks like you might build in a little uh, pin cushion so you don't uh, stab yourself when you're putting pins into your apron. Pretty fancy. Here we go, full colour. Look at this, full colour description, page 6. That's the sewing apron, no. Oh, that's the apron with oven mitts. Description, page 15. We'll check that out. Sorry about this. This is some sort of mould, I would say. Being a little bit damp. Yeah, a bit mouldy or something. Just needs a wee wipe. Looking pretty flash there. Description page. Yeah, there's your uh, sewing apron with the non stabbing pin cushion there. And description page four. What was that? Reversible yellow flared. Is that the yellow flared apron? I don't know. Yeah, it might have been. Page 15. Let's have a look. Page 15. Let's quickly jump ahead there. <laughs> Page 15, stole with gold thread circular bag, full colour, it's a bib, by the look at that, toweling gown, dressing gown is it, another apron, that's the, that's the Wild West apron we saw in page 2, <laughs> both of the Wild West apron uh, models are all handling bows, so um, yeah, what does that tell you? Yeah, applique, there's your fruit applique there, little bags, jewellery bag or something, and um, what are they? Blinders, A table mat with raffia design, bath mitts, circular doilies, guest towel serviettes, toweling rompers for baby, baby's first dress, fancy stitching on girls dresses, applique on child's dresses little elephant, dog and a cat, sun suit there, night dress, oh I love that, loin cloth, got to get a zoom in for that one, he's on the phone so it must be uh, pretty important, he's got a, is that a pocket or is that just, hmm, it's the wrong, spectacle case, oh the spectacle cases, Lavender bags, stole with gold thread. I don't even know what a stole is. Anyway, it's dog's jacket. Oh, that's that one. Here we go. 
that's that. Yeah, that's the dog's jacket on the Dachshund, by the look of that. Little Dachshund. Laundry bag, lampshade, sewing instructions. So, quick set of sewing instructions here. These are the patterns here, I'd say, for the applique. Husqvarna. Printed in Sweden. 19... Is that a date code? I'm not sure. Would that be 1960? 10th of the 9th? 6-0? 1960. Looks about right for 1960s, doesn't it? Pretty neat. And what else have we got here? We've got... Oh, the more modern... More modern Husqvarna's. Lightweight versatility, the new Husqvarna 3410. Yep, seen a few of those around. Fully equipped in every detail. Star Electrical TV Radio Limited, Rotorua. Nice little sample. Fairly plain brochure, though, that one. Swedish precision and quality for pure sewing pleasure, the 6370. Oh yeah, nice look at the uh, take up lever there with its quick thread, instant threading, strong and tidy stitches. She's looking pretty relaxed there, free arm, free arm, see through, bo see through window allows you to check the bobbin without removing the extension table, oh yeah, handy. Smooth even stitches. Utility and elastic stitches for sewing with a creative touch. Bit of elasticating there. Nice colour coded, getting into the more modern Husqvarna's here with the colour coding. The nice uh, tea cosy, is it? Made to look like a suit jacket or a dinner jacket or something. There's the machine with its accessories there. The complete sewing unit. Nice. A miracle of lightness and perfection. This is the 5710. Husqvarna. Again, we've got the uh, quick, easy threading there. Electronic foot control. Simple adjustment. Look at what you can sew with practical utility stitches. Straight stitch, zigzag. Three step zigzag blind stitch, you just the standard overlocking elastic button holes, button sewing, you know, all the um, staples of a good sewing machine, really. And there's the Husqvarna dealer there, he's got a few machines up here in stock, 2000 there. There's a, uh, another 2000 style, yep. The Husqvarna team of specialists. So yeah, printed in Sweden. That one's 1978, I would say, that one there. 78. There's just a, a we sit back and flip through some of these uh, brochures and sewing guides and whatnot. She looks pretty happy with herself, yeah. 71 rotary. So that's just a straight sewer, semi-industrial, I would say. Class 8 rotary pre-arm. The jam-proof shuttle is the big thing, and they, these are quite different to other styles of sewing machine. They uh, must have invented their own system here. It's got the free arm, reduction gear, all the good things you need. Um, micro adjustment for stitch length. Automatic tension control, easy to operate, easy darning, smooth starting. That's right, they are. You get very good control with the Husqvarna's. They seem to, uh, some, some machines when you start to put your foot down a little bit, they might just try and take off on you a little bit. And um, the Husqvarna has a very nice uh, ramp up of speed. So they're, they're, they're right there. Built in lighting. Wow. Pattern cam sets. Carry case, attachments, extension plate, 
suppression for radio and TV. You might have seen some of my uh, videos where I talk about checking the capacitors, the suppression capacitors, and that's what they're talking about here. So sewing machine motor will not interfere with radio, UHF, or TV receivers. Uh, generally, you know, uh, it's not really a huge deal these days, but you, you might, if you're listening to a radio, AM radio, you would potentially, if the sewing machine was not uh, electrically suppressed, you might hear a bit of buzzing coming through the radio. So that's what this was for, and you know, interfere with TVs as well. Not so much of a problem these days, although I still listen to AM radio. So, you know, it's just because I get decent reception out where we are. Keep an eye out for more videos. I cover all sorts of sewing machines, all sorts of topics. Yeah, so uh, thanks a lot for watching.